A blessed evening to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the Feast of St. Matthias, Apostle. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Father Ronnie Chrysostomo SVD, Shrine Rector. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus will now begin. Please rise. <laughs> is risen, praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness, life has vanquished death. Through his death and resurrection, Christ has saved us all. We too shall rise in glory, if we believe in him. Jesus is risen, praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the good news, life has vanquished death. Members all of God's own household, citizens of heaven. We are no longer strangers, children of God instead. Jesus is risen, praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness, life has vanquished them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, dear friends, to our Eucharistic celebration on this uh, Feast of St. Matthias, the one who took the place of Judas in the group of 12 apostles. God always provides for His Church and sustains the church even in the failures of some of its members. We thank God for such a gift to his church, sustaining it by pillars, membership, and graces we can, that we can hardly imagine. So to celebrate worthily this Eucharist, we now ask God's mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. you, we, we bless, bless you, you, we, we adore, adore you, you, we glorify you, we, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen, amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it. And may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that the one of men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they too proposed, Joseph called Barnabas, who was also known as Justus and Matthias. Then they prayed, you, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go in his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon to Matthias. Then he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give up a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. 
High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill, he lifts up the poor. To sit them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my father's commandments and remain in his love i have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete this is my commandment love one another as i have loved you no one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends you are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed evening to everyone, a blessed day to you our fellow worshipers in other parts of the world. Symbols play an important role in our life, even in the life of institutions. We like to associate meanings or capture the meaning of what we convey through symbols. The nas nascent church or the early church thought it was necessary to complete that figure of the twelve after it diminished with the death of Judas who betrayed Jesus. The apostles considered it necessary to have the twelve because for them God established that uh, his church should be should have its foundation on the twelve columns the twelve pillars since the church founded by Jesus Christ is seen as the new people of God 
with the twelve apostles, it tries to show us that indeed the church is the fulfillment of that first chosen people, the twelve tribes of Israel, now represented by these twelve apostles, the new Israel, the new people of God. In place of Judas, the eleven chose Matthias because he followed the Lord during his public ministry, starting from the baptism of John until the day of his ascension. With such qualification, Matthias became like the eleven, a qualified witness of the resurrection. According to the historian Eusebius of Caesarea, Matthias would have been one of the 70 disciples of the Lord whom he sent ahead to the places he intended to visit that we find in Luke 10, for example. His feast is now celebrated on this day, uh, May 14, instead of February 24, as it used to be, and placed precisely within this uh, Easter season, which is nearer to the time of his election as apostle and witness of the resurrection. What can we learn from this event or this election of uh, Matthias? As I've said at the beginning, God provides for His church. It is His church and uh, at times with, this, with so many problems and difficulties, it, seemed the church, it seems the church is like a boat sinking. But we have the assurance from Jesus now that His church will endure and He will provide for His church as we found in the event of today's uh, Feast, the election of Matthias. This should uh, encourage us always that in the midst of the difficulties, trials, weaknesses, sins, sinfulness of the church, God is always there to help us to renew, to sustain, because it is His church, not in the first place our church, but it is His church. The second thing I think that we can uh, learn from this, the election of Matthias, is that while on the one hand, this qualification of being witness, physical witness of the, of the ministry of Jesus and his resurrection, like the rest of the eleven, nevertheless, that peculiar, unique experience to them, well, it may end with them, but we see also that there is another type of witnessing that the Lord wants every member of His church to fulfill, and that is to the witness of our faith, the witnessing of our experience of God and Jesus Christ. Yes, we may not have the privilege of seeing with our own eyes Jesus 
the resurrected Lord. But through the gift of the Spirit, through the testimony of the church that was handed down to us throughout these centuries, assured by the presence of the Holy Spirit and the faithful teaching of the church and the experience of Him in our lives is indeed, this indeed would constitute our foundation in witnessing to Christ. Therefore, we are also called to this, to witness to Christ, to His love, as we have heard in the Gospel today, in the Gospel of John, that we remain in His love, that we remain in His friendship, then that would enable us also to become credible witnesses of Christ among our brothers and sisters. We ask then the Lord that uh, in the midst of uh, uncertainties of our life that we may have the courage to bear witness to our faith, to our friendship with Jesus Christ. And we know very well that the Spirit whom we have received enables us to do so. May the intercession of St. Matthias and all the Apostles with the power of the Spirit we have received in baptism enable us to become credible witnesses of Christ and His love for humanity. Amen. God chose Matthias to be an apostle, a witness to the resurrection. Let us pray that the Father's will may be done on earth, in all places and undertakings. For every prayer, let our response be, Sustain us, O Lord. Sustain us, O Lord. May the spirit of wisdom guide the Pope and the bishops especially in the exercise of their ministry as shepherds of the church. We pray. Sustain, Sustain us, O Lord. Lord. May those in authority be zealous in their commitment to partake in saving souls. We pray. Sustain, Sustain us, O Lord. Lord. May there be an increase in priestly and religious vocations in our community and in the family, we pray. Sustain, Sustain us, O Lord. Lord. May consecrated men and women have the true spirit of Jesus who came to serve and not to be served, we pray. Sustain, Sustain us, us, O Lord. Lord. May the faithful departed see the salvation of God in his kingdom, we pray. Sustain, Sustain us, us, O Lord. Lord. For our frontline healthcare workers, volunteers, and other essential workers, may God cover them with His mantle of protection, sustain them, and give them strength as they perform their respective duties, and may they have enough medical provisions to use for everyone who needs cure. We pray. Sustain, sustain us, us o, o Lord. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions and the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Sustain, Sustain us, us, O Lord. Lord. Almighty God, your Son chose us and bore fruit in our lives. Grant these prayers we make through the intercession of St. Matthias, through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. and sisters that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your Church, reverently presented for the Feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, What's over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed as shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory 
as we doubt and we acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, especially those recommended to our prayers in this Mass, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in the hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to supper, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with his eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion and resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son our Lord we your servants and your people offer it to your glorious majesty the gifts you have given us this pure victim this holy victim this spotless victim the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every blessing, grace, and every and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace, especially those we remember in this Mass. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us, also your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcelinos, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With gratitude and joy in our hearts for having been called members of the great Church of Christ, we now address our Heavenly Father with the prayer our Lord Himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Dear friends, behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs>
pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, we now proceed to the uh, exposition of the blessed sacrament and our devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Oh 
Prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Image of Divine Love. Lord Jesus Christ, through the image of your heart, you have revealed your overwhelming love for us. We, we honor, honor your, your divine, divine love. love. You, you were driven by it. You, you the eternal word of the Trinity, Trinity took, took the form of a slave to be recognized in your manner and bearing, and bearing as really human. human. We respect that holy love which inflamed and spurred you to proclaim your Father to the world, to do his will always, to offer yourself as a pleasing sacrifice to God the Father for our salvation, and to consider us worthy of your service. We, we honor, honor your, your human love, love which you experienced experience while leaving us a man among us. Among us. When, when you were thrilled with joy, because, because you were filled with the Holy Spirit, Spirit. when you were plunged, plunged into sorrow, great, great enough to break your heart. And so we know that, although you are God in eternal love, you love your Father with a human heart as well, and you love people as your own brothers and sisters. Grateful, Grateful and, and full of confidence, confidence we, we surrender ourselves to you, since we are sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature can separate us from God's love for us, which is in you, O Lord. You promised streams of living water to those who come thirsting and drink. See our joy as we drink saving waters from your font. This is the source from which we are filled with grace and every blessing from heaven. Grant, Grant us, us the great gift of your love, which is poured forth in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Inspired by the Spirit, may we better understand how deeply you want to be loved by us with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. With your help, may we follow your new commandment, the law to love all, so that everyone will know from this that we really are your disciples. Your love impels us not to live for ourselves, but for you because you died for us and rose again. We are as tools in your hands, serving your sacred ministry of proclaiming to every nation in the world the good news from God. With a word, the Almighty can accomplish immeasurably more than we could ask for or even dream of. Glory to Him in His Church, in the Lord Jesus, and in all peoples through endless ages. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, we present to the merciful heart of Jesus our needs and intentions. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the Word and the Spirit of grace. And may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all. Amen. Oratio Imperata Merciful, Merciful and, and compassionate, compassionate Father, we, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed 
made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Matthias, Pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Reinadamets. Pray for us. Quantum ergo sacramento venere Cernui et anticum documento novo cedat ritui priset fides supplementum sensum defectu Jubilacio Salos Honor Virtus Coque Sit et Benedexio Procelenti Avotro have given them bread from heaven, Alleluia. Containing in itself all sweetness, Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord our God, may we always give due honor to the sacramental presence of the Lamb who was slain for us. May our faith be rewarded by the vision of His glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Together we pray, Blessed be God, blessed, blessed be His, His holy, holy name, name. Blessed, blessed be Jesus Christ, Christ true, God true God and true man. Blessed, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood, blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels, and in his saints. Announcement: The Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, is currently holding its first online Flores de Mayo and Rosary Prayers on all Saturdays of May at 4 p.m. We are inviting everyone to join this online activity by sending us video clips offering flowers to Mama Mary that will be shown during the live stream. Aside from flowers, offering of cash and in-kind donations for our mobile community pantry will also be appreciated. Due to physical limitations, your donations will be offered by the seminarians and other church ministry members who will be present every Saturday. Please check the link bit.ly slash Shrine Flores de Mayo for more details and instructions regarding uploading of your videos and sending of your donations. Make a difference during this time of pandemic through prayers and generosity. We thank you and God bless you all. We have celebrated God's love. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.